Hey guys, welcome to my Blu-ray review. Um, I, I've only recently started collecting Blu-rays from November last year, so November 2011. Um, uh, I had a fast display of uh, DVDs beforehand and now like, I'm converting to Blu-rays so I'm trying to collect loads of Blu-rays. Um, I've really just got into collecting steelbooks as well so uh, this video is mainly going to be about my um, steelbook collection that I've got so far. Uh, I'm going to show you so far what I've got. I've only been collecting for about, say, two, two and a half months. Um, I've got a load on pre-order as well, so there's going to be plenty of videos showing what's coming soon. So I'll start with what I've got. Uh, then I'm hoping to go back, do a Blu-ray edition of what Blu-rays I've already brought so far, so then I can catch up with the videos and I can hopefully show you every month what I pick up then. Um, first of all, I want to say I don't go out and buy brand new Blu-rays that are just being released. And I know a lot of uh, the hoarders out there go out and buy them straight away. I buy what I want to buy, what I want to see, and what I want to collect. So, unfortunately, you might see stuff that you don't want to see. You might see stuff that you really want to see, and you just gonna have to put up with it. Okay. Okay. So let's start. What I want to show first is it's not exactly a steel book. It's a uh, I'd say um, a tin tin book or a, uh, a metal pack I think they call them sometimes uh, and it's Reservoir Dogs and this is a really really cool uh, tin uh, it, it's actually shaped by a petrol can if you've um, if you've seen the movie you 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 pretty much know why it's shaped by, like a can uh, I'm trying to get it in there because the light's reflecting off it but uh, if you can see it there it's really cool um, it's, it's makes a nice uh, petrol can kind of noise um, and also the, the, one thing I want to bring up straight away is I, I live in the UK okay so we seem to like putting our certificates all over the uh, all over the uh, blu-rays tins and everything and I hate this I really hate this and th there's one thing I really love about the Americans and uh, even the Germans I mean they, they put the stickers all over but you can peel it off um, being a collector, I like showing this stuff off, you know, and to have this all displayed all over it, it looks pretty crap if you ask me. So I really hope that um, the English start taking off their certificates or making it sticky. I know Play.com Play still books fantastic because they're usually just little stickers there, you can peel them off or they're, they're part of the actual wrapping so you can take it off. But yeah, I, I just wanted to show this one, not exactly a still book, but... Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, man. I, I'm, I'm really happy to have it in my collection. I was after um, Reservoir Dogs anyway in my collection. I saw this one on eBay and I bid on it and I won it and it actually cost me less than what I paid for a brand new Blu-ray of Reservoir Dogs. So there's Reservoir Dogs. Okay. Well, I want to move on next to... I'm going to show this quickly because I haven't actually watched this in about... 20 years I think so um, I need to catch up I'm just going to show the steelbook itself it's um it's the return of the living dead it's absolutely awesome steelbook I'm hoping you can see it okay there and we go again side and the back um, again I can't really comment much on this because I haven't seen it in so long but I do remember really enjoying it I mean for a 90 minute film but it's got like 293 minutes worth of special features. I mean, like I say, fantastic uh, Blu-ray edition. The only thing again, a certificate on the side and on the back. It, I, I kind of like the blank, uh, maybe a picture on the back. It's got a picture, but without all this information on it, you know, you, you get the card wraparounds, which um, I'll show you for one of the film room. There's a card wraparounds there. There you go. On. And then you usually end up with a nice uh, picture on the back or a, a blank blank still but that's what I usually prefer myself so yeah that's a really cool one I'm, I'm gonna actually watch this after I've done this video so I may do like a mini review come back and talk about it I do remember really enjoying it though so that's uh, Return of the Living Dead Blu-ray still but really cool okay next The Hurt Locker now this is a really cool looking still book this one um, you know you, you've got all these bombs that are all set up here but they're like um, they're, they're kind of like reflect it. I don't know if you can see it on the light, but they reflect out. And it's just a really cool look at the picture. And also, obviously, from a scene in the film as well. well I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, but yeah, man, it, it looks really cool, you know. Um, 
no, obviously no UK certificate display, which is great. Um, the side looks nice, and also a great picture on the back. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Okay. Um, yeah, man, it, it's really cool. I got this really cheap. I got this for about six pound ten, brand new. Uh, really happy with the price of that because I, I have it on Blu-ray, which I'll show in the Blu-ray. But I have it on Blu-ray already. Um, I'll probably sell that one. Um, or if there's anybody out there who wants to buy it from me, let me know and I'll give you a good price for it. Um, yeah, man, yeah, the, the film's really cool as well. A really, really good film. Um, it was done by Catherine Bigelow. She did Point Break. I think she's got the new one out. I can't remember. It's something like one black four nine or something like that. It's actually about the um, then the uh, US going in and taking out Osama bin Laden. And yeah, man, I think she's a really cool director for a, for a female doing like what I call don't want to sound sexist, but man films really. You know, she 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 does one hell of a good job. You know, so yeah, that's a really cool cool still, but uh, one one of my favourite looking ones to be honest. Okay, moving on. Uh, this has to be, and I'll probably get slated for it, but I don't care, man. I, you know. It, uh, one one thing about right, I'll stop now and I'll say one thing about being a reviewist is a reviewer helps you decide whether to watch a film. Uh, it can give you good uh, good ideas about the film, whether you think you might like it or not. At the end of the day, you you are you are your own reviewist. Okay, you 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 like films because you like them, not because I like them, not because whoever you watch likes them. You know. Be your own reviewers, man. You know, I'm only here to help you out. You know, if you, I like film, I, like I said at the beginning, you know, I review films that I like, not not because anybody else wants me to review them. You know, if you want me to review them, send them to me and I'll review them. But I'm not paying for something that particularly I might not, you know, enjoy. So go out there and watch the films for yourself in a way that I'm just here to help, you know, push you along the way. If you want to watch something, check it out. You know, I, I get a lot of recommendations off friends that say, you know you give good reviews on films and stuff like that so that's why I made these videos really so but anyway I this personally is my favorite Pixar film I know out there up and stuff like that are fantastic but I love and I, I sit and watch with my daughter quite regularly is uh, Ratatouille and this is the German steelbook and they, they have some really cool Pixar steelbooks out at the moment you know the picture alone I think is fantastic it's really um, glossy and looks really cool I have other ones which I want to get hold of, the Toy Story 1, 2 and 3. Uh, the only ones I don't really enjoy are Up. I, not the film itself, I love the film itself, Up. Um, I'd say Wally, uh, A Bug's Life and stuff like that because they, they are actually in different text and I quite like having stuff in English text. I, I think that's just the geek inside me, you know, if I could get past that. I probably won't have so much of a problem getting hold of stuff, but yeah, no, I I love you know um, Rats too. I think it's a fantastic film. You know the whole context of going from being rats to being into a, a restaurant and you know controlling a human by pulling his hair and stuff like that. I, I just think that's so cool. It's so fun. It's got a great story to it. Um, you know, and you kind of fall in love with the characters as well. I think they're really really fun characters. Um, yeah, so that's that's my favourite um, Pixar movie at the moment. Uh, it's a really cool looking steelbook. Um, again, I wish they wouldn't. All oh, this is in in German or Dutch. I can't remember if it. I think it's Dutch, but um, it it's all you know. It's there. You you could quite easily remove that and put a different kind of picture on there or something like that, and have a cardboard wrap around that you can take off. But man, I think that's pretty cool. We did have a massive sticker here, which I peeled off. I'm sure if you look around, there's great videos showing you how to peel them off different ways. Um, not that I'm recommending you to pull them off and wreck your steel books, but if you can do it properly, it, it looks better without the sticker on there. I, I'll show you. I've got one with a sticker on there. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so there's rats too, anyway. Next up, which I thought was a great film. Quite slow in a way. Um, you know, I, I can see a lot of people not enjoying it. I can see a lot of people really enjoying it. I personally really enjoy it, and I, I really love the actor as well. You know, it, it's got a great cast too. Um, but Woody Harrelson in Rampart, Rampart, 
great film, Woody Harrelson playing a corrupt cop, trying to get back his family in a way. You know, um, it's, it's hard to talk about without really saying what goes on in the film, really. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. I, I wouldn't go out and say that there's a massive twist ending or anything like that. Um, but it, it, it's quite a slow-paced film. You know, you've got to sit and listen to it. And Woody Harrelson just... Yeah, I think he's a phenomenal actor, really. A lot of people slag him off and say he's crap. But, you know, if you watch films like Zombieland and Kingpin and, you know, Natural One Killers is one of my favourites as well. He plays an absolute really cool guy in that. Uh, but, yeah, Rampart, I think it's a really good um, steelbook. Unfortunately, I've got a little thin in this one, which I didn't realise until the person sent me, but I was still happy with the, for the price I got this one. I got this really cheap. But, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's a cool picture of Woody on the back. This one had like a cardboard wrap around as well. It's um, I'm sure I, I didn't really say about the other ones. I think this one's a double blade one, so you get Blu-ray and DVD. It's a really, really, really cool uh, looking steelbook. Really glossy. And if you're a fan like me of Woody Harrelson, you know you got a massive picture of his head there, so that's pretty cool. Okay, moving on. Next up, I received this the other day. I think this is really cool. You know. Uh, personally I would have done something different with a certain part of this still but, but overall it looks really cool actually it's a really cool looking still that's Saving Private Ryan if you look at that still it's actually shaped like a cartridge box uh, an old style cartridge uh, ammunition cartridge box with a picture of uh, the the actual poster inside I would have personally made this look a bit more gritty maybe um, took away the picture of the guys and just had the soldier in the middle we'll say make it look like an old picture like broken glass or something around it you know like a photo frame kind of thing but overall for what play.com sell these app you know for or firstly for you know 10.99 man that's cheap as hell for you know a real cool film and in a really cool looking still but you know there's nothing on the uh back just to get it, it looks gritty like it's a um a cartridge box I think it's a really, really nice looking steelbook. I'm not going to open any of these steelbooks up to show you the insides. I'm sure you can look online um, and find what they look like. But yeah, I'd, I'd advise these to anybody, steelbooks. They look really, really cool. So I'm trying not to get the, the light in there. And I'm hoping you can see these okay. But yeah, man, that's really cool. Really nice looking. Really nice looking. All, really awesome film as well, you know. The first... Um, 20 30 minutes wow you know visually, visually stunning you know stupid spielberg he, he has to be one of my favorite directors people say oh he doesn't do that much you know he messes a lot of him but nah man he, he's through my whole childhood man he's brought me up really loving films you know with et i mean my favorite film ever is jaws you know and that's coming out on blu-ray here in the uk in september i know it's released over there in the states uh yeah, i think it was released yesterday actually but um Whenever I put this video out, it was released, I think, the 14th of August, or 13th of August, 15th, could be. But anyway, yeah, um, Spielberg, fantastic director, man. He, he really, he knows where to get you, it, not only, like, uh, visually, but also your heart, you know, E.T., Jaws, Close Encounters, even Patrick's not included, man. I love that film, <laughs> bringing the geek out in me. But, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think he's phenomenal. I still haven't seen War Horse yet. I've had it for ages and I still haven't got around to watching it. Um, I'm still contemplating whether it's my kind of film because I really don't like horses. I've really got a kind of um, thing about horses, you know, the black eyes and untrustworthy and stuff like that. So maybe I'll build my love up. Because Spielberg made it, I'll watch it, you know. So anyway, but uh, yeah, there's Satan Private Ryan. Really cool, really cool still, but... Okay, next, moving on. This is a, to be honest, for me, this is probably one of my favourite looking um, steelbooks for, uh, because, I mean, a lot of people out there probably don't even realise, you know, what what these things were, and, you know, especially the, the kids coming through now, you probably never, half of you have probably never seen them, I know they're still around, but, you know, yeah, and it's um, Paranormal Activity 3 steelbook, which is actually shaped like a VCR, you know, a video tape i think that is so cool you know i i paid quite a bit of money for this because it's sold out and i paid about 30 pounds for this one i know i probably played over the odds but because it looks so cool 
you know, it, it just looks like an old videotape. And I mean, to some people they'd be like, what the hell are you on about? But to me, I think that is so rad, you know, is, and there is the sticker there, you know, the, um, the German, I think it's German, I'd I, I hate to say it, is, well, I'm not too sure. Uh, I hate to offend any, any country out there, you know, but um, there's a sticker there. Um, you can take it off and then obviously you've got the blank tape there, but I've still, this one's still sealed. I have seen Paranormal Activity 3. Um, the film itself, you know, personally, uh, it, it, I think it's probably the better of, no, no, the first one was okay, you know, after the initial boredom, but, um, you know, the actual shocks. I, I wish they, like, went back from Paranormal 1 to 3 and just put all the decent bits in there and made the film out of that, you know, instead of, you know, watching 30 minutes of nothing happening, just two people arguing or something, you know, they, they actually cut those bits out and just put the, the parts where stuff really happened. But the, the, this one's, you know, it's an okay film. It's got a great, I think quite a good twist ending. I kind of saw it coming. Uh, again, the shocks in this one, I saw them coming. There's not many films, I'm not saying I'm um, unshockable, but there's not many films that make me jump anymore or give me shocks. And I kind of saw them coming in this one. I started, sorry, a bit of wind there, you know, I need burping, I think. But um, yeah, I kind of saw every shock that was coming. Nothing really made me jump. Uh, you know, but it was quite a cool ending to this film. It's really, you know, it's not bad, but that still, but I think looks really good. You know, really cool looking still, but the old videotape. You know, like I say, some people these days, I doubt you probably even know what these are. You know, the same as a cassette tape. You know, it's all CDs or digital downloads these days. So, but yeah, that's really cool. Uh, next, moving on. Uh, I love this film. Um, this one's kick ass. This is a Play.com one. This is really cool looking still, but I'm really hoping you can see these actually. My lighting's, I'm gonna have to sort my lighting out, but this is really cool. You know, you got um, uh, Christopher Lynn Plass, um, Aaron Johnson, and Chloe Grace Moretz, which I think she's a phenomenal actress. And you know, she, she's gonna go on, you know, not like one of these child actors that just do, are good as kids and then they disappear or become lunatics, you know. Uh, Macaulay Culkin, but um, you know, it, it will, it will, she will become a great actress, and I think she'll go on for many, many years, winning many Oscars as well. And Nick Cage, and Nick Cage is fantastic in this film. I know a lot of people slate Nick Cage and think he's crazy, which yeah, he probably is. You know, he, he's a pretty cool guy, but in this, he he's awesome. You know, I, I think everybody in this is really cool. Um, this is a really nice look still, but this is all debossed. I think the bust, yeah, it's all, and it's really glossy. You look on the back, there's a really cool, like, comic book kind of style of everybody. The uh, hit girl, and you know, it's just really cool looking. Uh, it's a really cool film, you know, it's it's like your, your superhero kind of film with just ultra violence and bad mouthing and stuff like that. You know, I find that really cool. You know, a lot of people probably think it's terrible because the girl saying the C word. 12 year old girl saying the C word but ah, come on if you you know it's a film for Christ's sake if anything that offends you in a film don't watch it turn it off you know oh god that offended me oh, I'll just turn it off don't watch it you know it, it really pisses me off when people send complaints and stuff like that if you don't like something something that offends you don't watch it you know simple fact turn it off turn it over and change the channel oh, god some worrying people out there there really is but anyway yeah that's a really cool looking still bit kick ass I love the film, I can't wait for the second one. I've heard um, uh, Matthew Vaughan isn't directing it, but he's gonna be producing it, so I'm hoping there's still that, that kind of effect to it, which he had, because he was fantastic director for this. So yeah, anyway, this that's kick ass, really cool. Uh, moving on, one of my favorite horror films from back in the day, uh, this, is a, this is a great movie, and probably uh, the best ever even now best ever werewolf transformation scene uh, it, I, I still don't think it'll be beaten for a long long time but yeah it's really cool and that's American Werewolf for London um, fantastic looking steel book with the moon there the, you know the big Ben and then the two guys walk in you know you don't want to go in those hills or whatever he says I can't remember I haven't seen it for a while but that's a really cool looking steel book 
in the back, you know, with a werewolf on the moon. That's really cool looking. And this is a great film too, you know. Um, I, lo I loved every minute of this film. There, there was comedy involved, you know. The, there was um, horror, obviously. There was romance. There was a bit of everything. And, you know, it just pans out so well. It's so well done, so well shot. You know, quite, um, I wouldn't say very scary these days. I think a lot of people desensitise with what you see on the news and what you watch online, you know. But um, I could see this being quite scary back in the day. You know, I remember watching it when I was little and it, it pretty freaked me out, you know, werewolves and stuff like that. But I was always kind of a horror movie buff, so, you know, I loved it. I loved being scared. The full, You know, I, that's another thing I want to say, man. You know, people out there who don't like horror films because they scare them and, you know, it freaks them out. I, I wish I had that now, you know, I wish there was films out there that made me scared or, you know, there's nothing better than being scared knowing you're safe and I think that's really cool. Um, I, do a, re, I recently watched VHS, which I thought was really cool actually, really a uh, found footage film again. I know it's like, oh God, get rid of these found footage films, but this was really cool. This was like, I think I had five scenes in it, five five takes of, you know, five different directors filming different bits. And that quite freaked me out, man. You know, there's bits in that that I thought were really cool and really freaky and just visually and, you know, what they did. But there, oh, there was also some really terrible bits, but yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll review that film when it's released again now. But I saw a, a copy of that and that was really cool. So uh, moving on the film, okay, and I can't really review much on this because I haven't seen it for so long, but, um, I might have to check this out tomorrow, maybe. And that's a Repo Man, and that's a really, really cool looking still. But I don't know if you can see it there, but you can obviously see Emilio Estevez, but right next to him, I don't know if I can get the right angle, there's actually a skeleton. I think you can see it there in the light. That looks really cool. Um, yeah, well, I remember this film was really cool. He was obviously a Repo Man, and it involves aliens and stuff like that. But yeah, again, I can't really I don't want to say anything about it because I can't really remember it, so I'll get back to watching that and probably do another review on that another day. But there's Reaper Man, Black Park, nothing shown on there. There we go. Okay, moving on. Uh, oh, this one's fantastic. This, to me, defines manga, basically. It, you know, this film is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, a recommendation if you're ever going to show a manga to somebody this you know for the first time I'd recommend showing this the first time and that's Akira and this also is one fantastic looking steelbook it looks great it's all uh, really shiny really glossy on the front just a, a fantastic looking and it's basically about I think they're like um, they're kind of like outlaws really these kids in the future you know bikers and stuff and there's a young lad I, you know I really have to watch this game because I can't really remember much about it but I do remember it being really really cool I think I love this and Fist of the North Star I love this one and Fist of the North Star as well that was a great great manga so I'm hoping they might release that I know they're doing Ninja Scroll which I have on pre-order right now and I love Ninja Scroll as well, that was a great film. So there we go. There's Akira. And uh, moving on next, which I actually put after this on purpose because I, if I remember correctly, uh, this film, this new film, reminds me of Akira in certain, certain Akira, Cairo, or whatever they, I don't know how different people, I say Akira anyway, that's what it is. But this one, um, not, not so much of what what happens in the film but those just little tiny parts that made me you know um think of this film you know it, it just brought back memories of that film and that's uh chronicle and i love chronicle i thought this was a fantastic film i think it was on a really small budget as well and you know it's just so well done the whole way that it's a found footage film but they learn a way of making it kind of not a found footage film but it still is um uh, if you haven't seen this, I recommend going out and seeing this really soon. You know, it is such a good film. Uh, I think they're doing a sequel which shows a bit more into how... They obviously, you can tell they get powers on the front, you know. They, and it shows how they get these powers. And it's about three guys that, you know, find this rock. 
which has got something it doesn't really show you really what what happens but uh, they end up with these powers where they can fly they can move stuff telepathically I think the word is I don't I, I keep saying stuff and it doesn't sound but yeah and then it also shows that you know like anything too much power can lead to uh, you know wanting to do bad things maybe you know I, I wouldn't say everybody wants to do bad things but you know it, that that's the, the route this film goes and it, I, it's a great film I really do recommend it so uh, go out and check that out Chronicle great looking still book as well uh, it's kind of like a deboss bit here this is all embossed here yeah. really cool the side and the back shows some scenes from the film also a scene from the film there really nice looking still but moving on uh, this was actually the the first still, I think the first was it the first yeah this was the first still book I brought I got this really cheap is it the first still book? yeah uh, I got this real cheap off eBay of somebody. In fact, I think I've got it like uh, half price compared to what it was when it came out. Um, I, I haven't actually seen this film. I do apologise, and I can't believe I haven't seen it yet because I've heard so much, so many good things about it. I know it's one of those films that you've got to sit and listen to, which I'm cool with. But I've got to be in the right kind of mood to watch films like that. You know, um, uh, I probably say I've got to be on my own in the daytime or something really ready to watch kind of thing. I, sometimes I put films on and it lasts 10 minutes and I turn it off because I'm not in the right frame of mind to watch that kind of film not saying that I didn't enjoy the film it's just I'm not I don't think I will enjoy it if I watch it at that time so I usually stop the film and wait for a time that I do feel good to watch the film and I do end up enjoying them then. Um, this one's Team Potato Soldier Spy I think it's a remake of a English an English film I, 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 I say I'm a movie geek and I don't even know that you know but it's got uh, Gary Oldman in it it's got Tom Hardy who's you know coming through the ranks as being an absolutely amazing actor uh, it's also got John Hurt in it as well uh, I really do need to check this out but it's a really cool looking still but it's a really glossy picture of Gary Oldman on the back there you know it, it's really nice like I say I can't really um, review it because I haven't seen it but I have heard really good things about it um, I'm sorry guys if you can't really see it very well my light is terrible I might actually at the end of this take some pictures and just post them at the end of the video so you can see see it properly but yeah Tinker Tailor Soul Strike I will check that out very soon ok moving on and this again I haven't seen for so so long but um, I'm a huge fan of Arrow video and Arrow films in fact I've got all their um, limited edition Blu-rays which I'm going to also do a review on but I haven't actually got around to watching a lot of the films so I, I, I'd rather watch them all and then do a, a review on that afterwards but um, this one's uh, King of New York Steelbook fantastic looking Steelbook um, I'm sure the, the picture on the front I'm not too sure who did the picture of I'm hoping it's the dude design that did it. I'm sure. I'm sure it was his design, but I could be wrong. But anyway, who? I can't believe I don't know that. But anyway, um, fantastic looking still, but great picture on the front. You know, just portrays the film really. Uh, I'm sure it's about Christopher Walken. He's a drug lord in New York. Um, and yeah, yeah, it is the dude designs there, man. He he's a really cool artist. I suggest anybody going out and checking out his art. He um he recently did one for They Live and you know for John Carpenter film. And oh man, it's so cool. You know, Roddy Rowdy Piper there on the front with a gun. You know, you can just imagine the film being so cool from that picture. You know, and it, which it is anyway. It's got the best fight scene in it in the world, I think. But yeah, that's a really cool looking still, but. Uh, and a cool film again haven't seen it for a long time so I can't really review it much um, I should really go back and check some of these films out and then tell you afterwards about it but yeah King of New York awesome still book and next up I have The Incredible Hulk from Play.com awesome looking still book again uh, they, they do some really cool still but you know I, I, don't, I haven't been collecting long but from what I have seen of these 
and what I have got in my collection, there's some of the best still books coming out, you know. And they become a great collector pieces as well. But I mean, fantastic looking still books. But uh, yeah, man, I love the Incredible Hulk. You know, part of the what they call Phase One collection. I'm trying to get. I've just brought Captain America. Oh, I shouldn't say that because that's going to be in my next review. But uh, I'm trying to collect all the um, the Avengers steel books that I play release. Uh, in fact, I'll show you one in a minute. But yeah, man, Incredible Hulk, great film. Edward Norton, fantastic. You know, one of my all-time favorite actors. I kind of wish he was in the Avengers, but I think it was. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, Greg Ruffalo or something, but he, he, he did play a great part as Bruce Banner. Um, but Edward Norton, I uh, I wish he was in it, you know, I, I really enjoyed his part. I loved Tim Roth in this as well. And uh, Liv Tyler, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, she was okay. But this is really cool looking still, but recommend going out and see this one compared to the older Ang Lee version of Hulk. Yeah, that says it all really, so. Go and check this out. Really cool film. Really cool steelbook. Ten ninety nine. Okay, really cheap. I'm sure this will be uh, worth quite a bit eventually. Not that I'm in it for that kind of thing, but anyway, here's a, a Blu-ray steelbook that I could have picked up for ten ninety nine. Instead, I paid forty five pound for this. Yes, pretty crazy price, I know, but when you want something in a collection and you're a geek like me and you want to collect stuff you seem to pay that kind of money for stuff but anyway I love this film I love this steelbook it looks great it's becoming one of the you know the, the big collector's pieces of the steelbook range from play um, and that's Iron Man and this is a really really light steelbook actually but this is a really cool looking steelbook you know this is all um, embossed the picture outside speed boss with the framing around it. I know it's got stickers there but luckily enough awesomeplay.com they come off with a wrap and I haven't unwrapped this yet because I might just keep it in the wrapping because I have the Blu-rays of these already but I know there's a I think there's a picture of Iron Man on the back there as well I'm not sure again I'll put pictures up afterwards of what what the um the Blu-ray show but yeah man that is an absolute awesome looking and very collectible still book at the moment. I think any Iron Man stuff's collectible these days. But I paid a lot of money for this, but worth it. And in my eyes, the film's fantastic itself. Robert Downey Jr. is absolutely amazing. He plays the best Tony Stark, you know. He, I couldn't imagine anybody else playing it. So, yeah, it's really cool. Go out and check it out if you haven't seen Iron Man. And, which I probably think everybody has anyway, but yeah, there's Iron Man. And following that one, which would be wrong if I didn't have it, which is Iron Man 2. Now, again, okay, embossed, really cool looking picture. In fact, I really quite like that picture on the front. It's a really cool picture. Again, I haven't undone this one because I have it on Blu-ray already. And I might keep it wrapped just to keep the value of it. Um, I like, I really liked Iron Man 2, uh, but I do have a bit of a problem with it because I thought the ending was really, not as good as it could have been. It ended really quickly. It, it, it the kind of the fight scene was really poor at the end, you know. So, but the, the overall film itself was really cool, really cool. So yeah, I was quite happy with Iron Man too. Anyway, there's my review of my steelbook so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's my first actual Blu-ray review that I've done on YouTube. So please go easy on me. I know I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm quite nervous actually. I don't know why because I'm on my own in my living room with a camera, so I shouldn't be nervous. But uh, please subscribe if you can. I'm going to try and release some more. Uh, I think over the next month I'll try and do a few videos with my Blu-ray releases. You know, my Blu-rays and my Arrow collection as well. Um, yeah, subscribe. Check me out. You know, leave comments in the in the boxes below. I'd, I'd like to answer any questions you have. You know, if you know. If you're gonna slag me off, slag me off. Uh, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm quite quite thick-skinned, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. Come back, check them out. Like I say, I've got loads of pre-orders in for the next few months. Um, I try and buy as many Blu-rays as I can. So I'd like to review them for you. You know, again, like I said, it's not always going to be what you might want to see or what you expect coming out that month. 
it's going to be what I've decided I want to buy that month. So I could go back and buy a film that's been released for three years, four years, you know. Um, I don't buy DVDs anymore. I've got a huge collection of DVDs which I'm selling off as I buy the Blu-rays. So it will literally be Blu-ray reviews and steelbooks only. Blu-ray steelbooks. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.